This video was made possible by the EA Creator Network. It's Fantasia. Welcome to my very first gameplay video for Horus Ranch. So you guys know the dealio, my name going across the screen. So this is early access. Embargo's not till the 19th though, so that's when you're probably seeing this around then anyways. Soon I will have content in my actual game, but for now this is what we're doing. So there's just base game and the pack. We have no reshade or anything like that, so if my game lighting looks different than usual, that's why. But look at our horses! So I did kind of show you guys um, these horses when I did my create a horse. So, and then you guys are familiar with the sim if you saw my create a sim review. So we have Kylie Burrows, and then we have our unicorn named Fantacorn, so named after you guys. And then we have Neptune, and then with their baby Sunshine, which, excuse me, they are so cute. So my plan for these gameplay videos is to just simply explore. We're getting to know horses. This is kind of like my first impressions pretty much. So yeah, that's all we're going to be focusing on. Mainly just the horses. Of course, there is a few other gameplay things that I will focus on. But of course, the main point is, oh my god, <laughs> the main point is to explore horses since that is the main part of the pack. And I'll tell you guys my thoughts and stuff like that as we go. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, right now, my favorite thing of the whole pack is the foals because they are just, I can't. How? Like, how can you resist them? They are so cute. So right off the bat, I actually, wait, can I not bottle feed you? Horse care? Bottle feed. Let's go do that. I don't know if you're hungry, little dude, but we're going to feed you. Oh my goodness. So you can see their needs when you hover over them. So that is helpful, but I want them to just be so in love. Like, yes, interact. Oh my goodness. <laughs> they are so cute. You guys, you already know my, you know, feelings on this pack with, you know, everything I saw before I got to play it. You guys know the main thing I'm excited for is just simply the horses. And then I'm kind of bummed about it feeling like there's not, you know, a whole bunch of things to do. So it feels more like, like a game pack since the main focus point is the horses, but the horses themselves, I can't like <laughs> they are. <laughs> okay. I, I can't like, I'm going to need to get so many pictures because they are just so freaking cute. Like the fact that they just uh, like automatically interact with each other like this. I wish I could show you guys this with my G shade. I just turned it on to take a photo, but I'm not allowed to use it, which is really unfortunate. But as soon as I turn my G shade on, it looks so good. That picture looks freaking to die for. So something I'm noticing right off the bat, the horses do seem pretty active. They seem like they're always going to do something. So that was as expected. I felt like, you know, the whole budget seemed to have gone to horses. So I was expecting the horses to be really good. For some reason, I can't... Oh, okay, you need to be mounted to a horse. So I think they will go around this like on their own. Did you bottle feed? I want to do that. Go on. Let's see. All right, so let's see bottle feeding for the first time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Okay, let's just go ahead and look at this in tab mode. Look, oh, you guys. <laughs> so cute. Oh, I want to go to that board over there, over here. Oh, hello. Hello. So cute. Acquire the temperament skill. Oh, Sunshine's new skill in temperament will begin to help him socialize. Okay, as the skill increases, socialization will become even easier. Full grown horses with high temperament skill are less likely to buck riders and will perform better at certain community jobs and the western pleasure. Show jumping and ultimate horse uh, championship competitions to track horse skill progress. Select open profile on Sunshine in the relationship panel. So let's go ahead and actually do that then. So you you can see here oh this is so cute <laughs> oh my god stop oh whoa it actually says their value oh that's so cool so yeah here's the temperament and then of course it just says their relationship and stuff like that oh and if you guys saw me making these horses you guys already know their traits but if you didn't see that sunshine is friendly fearful and needy going over to neptune oh my goodness okay this <laughs> is so you're brave defiant and energetic and then you can see here there's temperament agility jumping and endurance so i think we learned that beforehand so you guys probably already knew that 
And then Fanticorn is needy, friendly, and intelligent. So it also says no competitions won. So uh, I'm not sure why it just says that for you. Oh, Rancher Lesson. Oh, I also kind of want to get a ranch hand. I don't really know what they'd help with right now, but we should explore that. So Riley is a rancher at heart. Her idea of a good time includes doing chores around the ranch and interacting with livestock. Rancher Sims excel at ranch life, occasionally making a bonus bottle while or when crafting nectar or extra hay when harvesting prairie grass. She she will be more successful at horse breeding. Oh, that's cool. So we do have the welcome wagon. So let's kind of see some of the townies. Where are they? Why are you guys coming on this side? Okay. Oh my gosh, it's the girl from the trailer. Let's go ahead and invite neighbors in, even though I kind of want to stay out. <laughs> so of course we have the sim from the trailer. So this is Danny. We have um, Umber. We have, what's your name? Juniper. And we have Roberto. Oh my God, Juniper. It honestly instantly makes me think of Jen, X Urban Sims. <laughs> let's go ahead and just quickly meet them. So let's do, oh my God, howdy introduction. So we do have a new introduction. You've already met you. So I just want to make sure she meets everyone. And then I think we're going to head out, which like, sorry if that's rude. <laughs> I like how they actually all say slowly, slowly when you do the howdy introduction. Okay. So Miss Vantacorn is sleeping. They kind of just stand there and fall asleep. <laughs> and then uh, you're also sleeping, but you're actually inside your sleep area. Oh, we have a poop. Um, We should probably clean that up. Oh, and then by the way, she does have the expert nectar maker aspiration so she has to achieve level five of nectar making skill make 50 excellent bottles of nectar and then make a 100k selling nectar which is crazy so we should probably get one of those because we actually don't have one all right so let's go ahead and grab this nectar maker i think we'll just simply get a nectar maker and nothing else for right now and then she can just do that out there we could also put it on this side but no we'll put it in the front so right away you are going to be able to click craft nectar but she does need things for this so you can also purchase basic ingredients. So let's actually get her started on this. I might get a few actually, because why not? Okay, so she's purchased some of those ingredients. So we will start that soon. But first, I really want her to head out again. I feel bad because the welcome wagon's happening. But I want to explore all the gameplay I can with you guys during the time that I have. So we're gonna go ahead and head out. And I really wanna go over to this area because this is where you can get mini sheep and mini goats. We could pretty much go to any of these lots, I think, and we'll be able to go there. But I wanna show you guys the oak barrel. And then I also wanna show you guys the park. So we will go there as well. Oh, by the way, like this is the map view. Again, you guys have probably seen it by now though with like the live stream and stuff. I feel like it is the same size as we've been getting, which I do wish it was bigger because of the horses. I wish we had more lots that were this size here. I was actually hoping they were gonna up the lot sizes for this pack. I thought we were gonna get like massive lots, but definitely not the case. We don't even really have like more of the bigger lots. It's kind of like the same as always, which was interesting to me. But anyways, let's go ahead and head. You know what? Should we bring our horses? And then you guys can kind of see like how they interact when they're out and about. Okay, so here we are. It says, howdy there, swing by the Hay Now Equestrian Center for the best training in town and test your horsemanship in our competition. We're open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. every day. So we'll definitely head there as well, but here's what this part of town looks like. I really love the building. I love all the buildings in this pack. Like two of my favorite things, the one I was most excited for was the horses and the world. And that definitely didn't change when I kind of got the pack myself. So of course these are just like rabbit holes, which is sad. <laughs> Like, I'm glad that it looks pretty, but like, I really wish we could use these lots. However, you can use this one here. So if you click on this, it is a rabbit hole. I do wish we could go in because it's kind of like a grocery store. And in The Sims 3, we had rabbit hole grocery stores. So, you know, it's always been that way. But The Sims 4 can be different in ways, which, you know, I feel like an improvement would be going in the grocery stores. You know, in The Sims 2, we could go in the grocery stores. And then all of a sudden we couldn't. So I wish we could again. Like, this just... Oh, I really wish we could go in. The fact you can shop for groceries and goods, but we can't see what's happening. But anyways, let's buy some mini sheep and mini goats. So something interesting about this is they're actually going to go in your inventory. I was not expecting this. I tested out like a couple things quickly before I started my gameplay because I didn't want to spoil anything and I wanted everything to be like my first impressions. But I also just wanted to like get a quick feel of it so I knew what I was doing. And when I figured out that you get the mini sheep and mini goats here, I was like, oh my God, they go in your inventory. I was not expecting that. So they're not attached to anything. 
It's kind of like familiars in Realm of Magic, but obviously not exactly, but that's like what it's reminding me of. So we can actually get a whole bunch of them and they don't take up household slots. So I do like that. Yes, I wish we also got like full size sheep and goats. You know, I do think they're cute. And will I think you might get bored of them after a while? Yeah, maybe. But if you have cottage living and you make like a whole farm, I think it'll be a fun time. Um, I don't know which ones I want to get. We're going to get a black sheep and I don't think I'm going to get the colorful one, but look how cute. There's also a brown mini sheep. We're going to get this mini goat here. We're going to get a cream sheep. We'll get a Dalmatian one. Oh, let's also get you. <laughs> I like the Dalmatian ones. Oh, we have to get the mocha mini sheep. Cute. And then, yeah, let's get this one here. And then, of course, we need a classic white sheep. And then we'll get this spotted one. So yeah, I'm going to get a whole punch and it's almost $4,000. So you can see here, I literally have an insane amount, like two rows. I just wanted to really show you guys. <laughs> how many you can get and they can just be roman this part of town i will say is probably one of my favorites and you can see here they're just still like <laughs> they're so in love with each other and i love that they show that i think it's so cute and then we have our little foal he's just hanging out and other sims will come up to your horses and kind of interact with them too so let's go ahead and actually since we're out here i do kind of want to ride around so oh no wait um go for a ride so we're gonna go ahead and go for a relaxed ride around here and you can see Fantacorn is literally having a heyday. <laughs> so the routing, I do want to talk about that. It's not perfect. I am not going to lie, but it's pretty good. Um, I feel like even for The Sims 3, it wasn't perfect. However, because it's like a whole expansion pack for horses, I did kind of expect it to be better. But yeah, they do still definitely like gallop into things and it can get a little wonky. So if that bothers you, I don't know how you're going to feel. Um, but like, I mean, when you're in an open, oh, good night. Oh, <laughs> so they do roll around on their belly and stuff too which i or not their belly their back which i think is cute acquire the endurance skill okay perfect um and then also our sim riley here has acquired the horse riding skill so yeah if you're in like a big open area they're not going to glitch through anything but if there's stuff around yeah they're going to be walking into stuff that's for sure so i don't know what we're going to do with you little bean because you're taking a little ride so here is what it looks like <laughs> so she obviously doesn't have any skill so she kind of looks a little freaked out so we do want her to kind of get the riding skill so i'm gonna let her ride around for a little bit we can also do the energetic one but i don't know like how that's gonna go because she's not that experienced so i guess we'll see how she kind of takes that let's see all right oh <laughs> okay so she definitely looks even more freaked out with this one <laughs> she's like oh my god Oh my gosh, <gasps> are you gonna kick her off? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I don't wanna miss it if you do get kicked off. <laughs> oh, little sunshine is sleeping over there. Hi, Fanticorn, bye. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. You guys, I keep almost forgetting to turn my G-Shade off. I keep taking pictures and I'll turn it on for a second. She's just riding around and what I like about this, I was saying this previously and then I was like, oh, so that's cut out. But um, I, I do appreciate how open the world feels. That's another thing that I like. So I didn't know how it would feel because you know, Sims 4 is closed world, but no, they did a really good job. Even though the world is not really any bigger than the worlds we have, there's just a lot of open space spaces so it does feel more open and your sim is able to ride around with their horse for longer oh look at you guys okay so here is the equestrian center so i think we should go ahead and check this out so you can purchase a horse you can rescue a horse you can enter a competition we can do horse training we can sell horse and then we can spectate competitions which i think is pretty cool so sadly you can't go in here which i was a little confused just having a whole pack for horses i would have liked to go in here to be honest even if there was just like certain areas you could go in to like your horse i didn't expect really for me to be able to see the horse competitions but also because it's a pack specifically for horses i feel like that would have been really cool can we take a minute to like talk about how cool that would be but anyway we're gonna go ahead and enter a competition i think you can see here that there is a beginner option for all of these which is nice so we have barrel racing we have endurance racing we have show jumping and then western pleasure and then we have the ultimate horse championship the beginner is only a hundred dollars i think we're gonna do the barrel racing or do we do endurance i think our horse just got to another skill point for endurance like level two so let's actually try that and then let's change it to neptune 
Okay, yeah, we'll go ahead and do this. So there we go, we paid the entry fee. All right, we just got to horse riding at level two. So we're gonna go ahead and exit that out. And I know you guys are probably wanting to see the mini shoe of mini goats. I promise we will go. Oh my gosh, look at you guys. We're riding a little bit better now. Oh my gosh, don't kick her off. <laughs> if he kicks her off, I swear. <laughs> All right, so then they just head in and yeah, you can't see inside or anything like that. So while we wait, let's go and check on Fantacorn. Oh my goodness, please interact again. I missed it. I want to see you guys nuzzle noses. Oh, that was so cute. See, this is when I want to be able to control the horses because like, please let me see that again. That was adorable. <laughs> that was so cute. Aww, go be with your mom. Oh my goodness. Oh, are they going to attract again? Oh my god. It is just to die. Stop it. That's it? Oh, okay. I don't know why they glitched like that. Okay, so it says here endurance race competition. Riley has entered an endurance racing competition. Oh, by the way, you guys, I did already cover this in my create a horse and stuff like that, but I mean, it's probably confirmed by now. No, Fantacorn is not a real unicorn. It's just pretend they're just kind of like, the way they described it was cosplaying as a unicorn. That's what it was described to me. So yeah, that's basically what it is. It does sparkle and stuff. And I feel like they're, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but like on my end, I can hear it, but it's a lot louder for me. The unicorns or the cosplaying unicorns, obviously they sparkle and then they sound echoey. They sound different than the regular horses. So those are kind of the only two differences. So they're not like, you know, actual unicorns. It's kind of just like pretend. I don't know why they're kind of glitchy. Like I said, oh my gosh, <laughs> the animations are definitely not perfect, but you know, this is also an early copy. So it might be better by the time you guys get it. I'm not sure. But by the time this goes up, either the pack's already out for you guys or it's coming out tomorrow. So that's exciting. Oh, look at them. <laughs> I noticed that the mother and foal bond is very, very sweet. Like they do really interact like their family and they have this connection. It's so cute. Oh, look at them. Oh, she like cleans her. That's so cute. <laughs> How freaking cute you guys. So I think they're going to have a really good relationship. I love it. I can't wait to see you grow. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we won 200 simoleons. Okay, so we got a bronze medal. So it says victory. What an impressive showing for a beginner. You are taking steps towards those greater difficulties and the hard work is showing in each of your races. This one had the entire crowd cheering your names and has put your name out there as someone to keep an eye on. You're going places in the hay now. Equestrian Center is eagerly awaiting. Aw, okay, so I really wish there was more to that, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm glad that we won. So we're gonna go ahead and go home now so I can show you guys the mini sheep and the mini goats before we wrap up this first video here. Okay, so what you're gonna have to do, oh, here's our little trophy, cute. We'll definitely put that on the wall, but what you're gonna have to do is just click on them and you can place in the world. Let's actually make sure that you place them outside though, not inside, outside, <laughs> okay. So you can place them in your house, which I don't think you really want to, oh, I don't think you really want to do that, but here they are. I feel like a lot of you guys just want this pack for the mini sheep and mini goats. So I'll definitely be showing them off more in my videos. So you guys can kind of figure out if you feel like they're worth it or not, but they are really cute. And I'm really shocked that you can have like so many. So you can see, I can just continue to place them. Like how many do I have here? I don't even know. This is definitely a little much, I will say, but like, you know, I just wanted to really show you guys like, wow, you can have tons. And then if you get, obviously I can't now because <laughs> look at you, obviously I can't now because this is the early copy. So I don't have cottage living right now in my game, but <laughs> They just happen. But you know, if you have cottage living and you have all these mini sheep and goats going around and you have your horses and then you have your chicken, all that, like it'll really feel like a little farm. Oh my goodness. You're literally just buying at the wall. <laughs> but you guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this first one here. So I really wanted to focus on kind of exploring horses and mini sheep and mini goats for you guys. And then of course we'll continue to explore them in the next one. And then we'll probably do some nectar making. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm going to kind of speak my thoughts as I go. So the things I like, the things I don't like, but I feel like it's hard because I kind of already know everything that comes with this pack. Like even, you know, before playing it, I was talking about how it just seems like there's not 
that much other than the horses. Like, you know, I could count all the features on one hand and you know, so I was like, okay, I kind of feel like I know what I'm going to explore when I get the pack early. And then that kind of was the case. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like it's like super quick to go through. So I will say that. However, obviously horses themselves do have a lot to them. So, but just as features as a whole, like everything about the pack, there's not like a whole bunch of different features like expansion packs usually have. But anyways, you guys, I hope you look forward to my next gameplay video. Who knows what's going to happen as we just play. That's what I really want to do is just like play, go with the flow and we can see like what naturally happens and stuff with the horses and all of that. It'd be really cool if my two adult horses actually try for a baby again. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.